your morning routine is about to change forever. That mirror you glance into daily has been sending you critical messages about your heart health, and you've been missing them entirely. While most people worry about wrinkles and blemishes, dermatologists and cardiologists have identified 12 specific skin changes that could signal life-threatening cardiovascular problems lurking beneath the surface. Heart disease kills more people worldwide than any other condition, yet its earliest warnings often appear not in your chest, but on your skin. The American Academy of Dermatology has documented how your body's largest organ serves as a sophisticated early warning system, displaying visible evidence of cardiovascular distress months or even years before traditional symptoms emerge. These aren't subtle hints, they're urgent distress calls from your cardiovascular system. Some manifest as sudden painful bumps that demand emergency care, while others develop gradually as seemingly harmless color changes that could indicate blocked arteries or failing heart function. The difference between recognizing these signs early and ignoring them could literally be the difference between life and death. Today, we're revealing 12 scientifically documented warning signals that medical professionals use to identify cardiovascular disease. Each sign has been validated through peer-reviewed research and clinical studies from leading medical institutions worldwide. Now let's dive into the warning signs your face and skin may reveal about heart health, beginning with number one, swelling in your feet and lower legs. When you notice persistent swelling in your feet, ankles, or lower legs that doesn't disappear after rest, your heart might be sending you a critical distress signal. This swelling, medically known as edema, occurs when your heart isn't pumping blood effectively throughout your body, causing fluid to accumulate in the lower extremities. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, this fluid buildup is often one of the earliest visible signs that your heart isn't working properly. The swelling typically starts in your feet and ankles, but as heart function deteriorates, it can extend upward to your lower legs, thighs, and even groin area. What makes this particularly concerning is that many people dismiss this as simply being on their feet too long. Over time, chronic fluid accumulation causes the skin to become thickened, discolored with a brownish hue, and in severe cases can lead to open ulcers that are difficult to heal. Dr. Moral Skelsey notes that these skin changes often indicate advanced heart failure, where the heart cannot pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. The condition can also signal chronic venous insufficiency what makes this sign particularly insidious is that it develops gradually, allowing people to adapt without recognizing its significance. You might notice shoes feeling tighter by day's end, or pressing your finger into the swollen area leaves an indentation that takes time to disappear. These seemingly minor changes could be your cardiovascular system crying for help. Morale Skelsey notes that these skin changes often indicate advanced heart failure, where the heart cannot pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. What makes this sign particularly insidious is that it develops gradually, allowing people to adapt without recognizing its significance. You might notice shoes feeling tighter by day's end or pressing your finger into the swollen area leaves an indentation. Next, sign two, blue or purple skin. Looking at your hands, feet, or face and noticing a bluish or purplish tint to your skin, even when warm, represents one of the most serious cardiovascular warning signs, demanding immediate medical attention. Cyanosis occurs when your blood doesn't carry enough oxygen to your tissues, causing normally bright red, oxygen-rich blood to appear darker and more bluish. According to cardiovascular specialists, cyanosis often indicates that blood vessels are blocked or that your heart isn't pumping effectively enough to deliver adequate oxygen throughout your body. The condition manifests in two main ways. Central cyanosis, affecting your lips, tongue, and central body areas, indicating serious heart or lung problems. And peripheral cyanosis, primarily affecting hands, feet, and extremities. When it persists in warm conditions, it signals that your cardiovascular system is struggling to deliver oxygen-rich blood. What makes cyanosis particularly dangerous is that it often appears when oxygen levels have already dropped significantly. The bluish discoloration means your organs and tissues aren't receiving the oxygen they need to function properly. Next, sign three, blue or purple, net-like pattern. Before we continue exploring these critical warning signs, if you're new to our channel, welcome to this life-saving journey. We're passionate about bringing you research-backed health information that could genuinely protect you and your loved ones. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're finding this valuable and subscribe so you never miss our health content. We'd love to build a global community of health-conscious viewers, 
So drop a comment and let us know which country you're watching from. We're excited to connect with you. Looking at your skin and seeing a lace-like, net-like pattern of blue or purple discoloration creates a distinctive mottled appearance known as livido reticularis, a serious cardiovascular warning signal often overlooked entirely. This web-like discoloration pattern occurs when small blood vessels near your skin surface become blocked or narrowed. According to heart research specialists, livedo reticularis often indicates serious cardiovascular system problems, particularly involving blocked arteries due to cholesterol deposits or blood clots. The condition is particularly concerning because it can signal cholesterol embolization syndrome, where cholesterol plaques break away from larger arteries and block smaller blood vessels throughout your body. Research published by the American Academy of Dermatology indicates that livedo reticularis can be an early warning sign of systemic cardiovascular disease. Next, sign four, yellowish-orange waxy growths. Small yellowish-orange waxy-looking bumps appearing around your eyelids, on your palms, or on the backs of your legs represent one of the most common cardiovascular warning signs. These painless deposits, called xanthelasma, around eyes and xanthoma elsewhere, are actually cholesterol accumulations under your skin. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, these growths often indicate dangerous cholesterol levels in your bloodstream that significantly increase your risk of heart disease and stroke. Xanthelasma typically appears as small, soft, yellowish plaques on eyelids, while xanthomas can appear anywhere on the body. Research indicates that nearly half of all people with xanthelasma have abnormal lipid levels in their blood. Many also have additional risk factors such as diabetes or thyroid abnormalities. Dr. Moral Skelsey notes that these cholesterol deposits are particularly significant because they often appear in people with dangerously high cholesterol levels. If cholesterol is accumulating under your skin, it's likely also building up in your arteries, creating dangerous plaques that can rupture and cause heart attacks or strokes. And then next, sign five, clusters of waxy bumps. Finding clusters of small waxy bumps that look almost like pimples suddenly appearing on your back, arms, or buttocks represents one of the most dramatic cardiovascular warning signs, often indicating extremely dangerous cholesterol levels demanding immediate medical attention. Unlike other cholesterol deposits that develop slowly, eruptive xanthomas appear suddenly, often within days or weeks. According to cardiovascular specialists, their sudden appearance often signals that triglyceride levels have skyrocketed to extremely dangerous levels, often exceeding 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams per deciliter. Research shows that eruptive xanthomas often occur in people with uncontrolled diabetes, as high blood sugar levels can cause triglycerides to surge. The combination of extremely high triglycerides and diabetes creates a perfect storm for cardiovascular disaster, significantly increasing the risk of heart attack, stroke, and potentially fatal inflammation of the pancreas. The clusters serve as visible evidence that your blood has become so saturated with fats that your body cannot process them normally, likely causing similar deposits and inflammation in your arteries. Next, sign six, clubbing of nails. Look closely at your fingernails and fingertips. Do your nails curve downward more than they used to? Are your fingertips becoming enlarged or rounded? This subtle but significant change called digital clubbing represents one of the most overlooked cardiovascular warning signs. Digital clubbing develops when soft tissues at your fingertips gradually enlarge, causing your nails to curve downward and your fingertips to take on a bulbous appearance. According to medical research, clubbing often indicates chronic low oxygen levels in your blood from various cardiovascular conditions. The condition can signal serious heart problems, including congenital heart defects, heart infections like infective endocarditis, or advanced heart failure where the heart's pumping ability has become severely compromised. Dr. Morales Gelsey notes that clubbing can indicate problems with both heart and lungs working together. What makes digital clubbing particularly concerning is that it often indicates chronic long-term cardiovascular problems that have been developing over an extended period, making it easy to dismiss as normal aging. Next, sign seven, painful nodules on fingers or toes. Suddenly developing small, extremely tender, reddish purple bumps on your fingertips or toes that are so painful you can barely touch them represents one of the most serious cardiovascular emergency signs often indicating a life-threatening heart infection called infective endocarditis. Osler's nodes typically appear as small, tender, violaceous nodules on the distal ends of fingers and toes. 
What makes them immediately recognizable is their extreme tenderness. Even gentle pressure causes significant pain. According to research published in leading medical journals, Osler's nodes result from septic emboli or immune complex vasculitis associated with infective endocarditis. When bacteria enter the bloodstream and attach to heart valves, they can form infected clots that travel through circulation and lodge in small blood vessels in fingers and toes. Research from the StatPearls Medical Database indicates that patients presenting with Osler's nodes require immediate blood cultures and echocardiography. The tender nodules serve as visible evidence that infected material is traveling through your bloodstream, suggesting widespread systemic infection that can cause permanent heart valve damage, heart failure, stroke, or death if not treated promptly. Next, sign eight, painless red or purple spots on palms or soles. Discovering flat painless, red or purple spots on the palms of your hands or soles of your feet represents another serious cardiovascular emergency sign that often indicates the same life-threatening heart infection as Osler's nodes, but with a different presentation that can be easily overlooked. Janeway lesions appear as non-tender, erythematous or hemorrhagic macules typically found on palms and soles. Unlike Osler's nodes, these lesions are completely painless, which can make them seem less concerning. However, they often indicate the same serious heart infection, infective endocarditis. Research indicates that Janeway lesions are caused by septic microemboli from infected heart valves. When bacteria form infected clots on heart valves, small pieces can break off and travel through the bloodstream, eventually blocking tiny blood vessels in the palms and soles. According to a classic study published in the American Journal of Medicine, the only essential diagnostic difference between these two lesions is the tenderness associated with Osler's nodes versus the painless nature of Janeway lesions. What makes Janeway lesions particularly dangerous is their subtlety. They might be dismissed as minor bruises. Next, sign nine, Frank's sign, earlobe crease. Take a moment to look carefully at your earlobes in the mirror. Do you see a diagonal crease running from the tragus toward the back edge of your earlobe? This simple line, known as Frank's sign, has been studied extensively by cardiovascular researchers and may indicate significantly increased risk of coronary artery disease. Frank's sign was first described in 1973 by pulmonologist Dr. Sanders T. Frank, who noticed this distinctive crease in patients with angina. Since then, numerous studies have investigated the relationship between this physical finding and cardiovascular disease, with many showing significant associations. According to research published in prestigious medical journals, the diagonal earlobe crease may correlate with premature vascular aging and atherosclerosis. A comprehensive study published in the American Journal of Medicine analyzed over 1,000 adults and found significant associations between Frank's sign and major cardiovascular risk factors. However, while many studies show associations between earlobe creases and cardiovascular disease, the evidence is mixed. A systematic review published in the Journal of Clinical Medicine concluded that while Frank's sign shows some association with coronary artery disease, its diagnostic accuracy is insufficient to rely on alone. Next, sign 10, cutaneous purpura, petechiae, or rashes, small pinpoint red or purple spots appearing on your skin that don't disappear when you press on them, or larger purple patches that appear without obvious injury can represent serious cardiovascular warning signs related to blood vessel problems or systemic conditions affecting your heart. Petechiae appear as tiny, flat red or purple spots, smaller than two millimeters in diameter. They occur when small blood vessels called capillaries bleed under the skin, and unlike regular bruises, they don't blanch when you apply pressure. Purpura are larger versions of the same phenomenon. According to cardiovascular research, these bleeding spots can indicate several serious conditions related to heart health, including problems with blood clotting that can increase the risk of both bleeding and thrombotic complications. More concerning is when they appear as part of systemic conditions affecting both the cardiovascular system and other organs. They can be early signs of infective endocarditis, the same serious heart infection associated with Osler's nodes and Janeway lesions. What makes these skin changes particularly important is their potential to indicate systemic vascular disease affecting blood vessels throughout your body. Next, sign 11, color changes in skin and nails. Looking in the mirror and noticing that your skin has taken on a grayish pallor or that your nails have developed persistent discoloration unrelated to injury can provide important clues about your cardiovascular health, 
often indicating circulation problems that may signal underlying heart disease. Grayish pallor, particularly when it persists despite adequate rest and nutrition, can indicate that your cardiovascular system isn't delivering oxygen-rich blood effectively throughout your body. This pallor is different from temporary paleness. It's a persistent change suggesting chronic circulation problems. According to research from cardiovascular specialists, persistent skin discoloration can result from several heart-related conditions. Poor cardiac output, where your heart cannot pump blood effectively, can lead to decreased circulation to the skin, causing the grayish appearance. Nail color changes can be equally significant. Healthy nails typically have a pink color from the blood vessels underneath, but cardiovascular problems can cause them to appear pale, bluish, or grayish. These changes occur because reduced circulation affects the small blood vessels in the nail beds. Next, sign 12, peripheral cyanosis. Our final warning sign focuses on your hands, feet, and face. Peripheral cyanosis, also called acrocyanosis, manifests as a persistent bluish tinge in your extremities that occurs even without cold exposure, potentially indicating serious problems with your cardiovascular system's ability to deliver oxygenated blood. Unlike temporary blue discoloration from cold weather, pathological acrocyanosis persists in normal or warm temperatures and indicates that your cardiovascular system is struggling with circulation. According to the Merck Manual, this condition typically affects both hands and feet symmetrically, creating a persistent bluish color. Acrocyanosis occurs when there's vasospasm or restricted blood flow in the small blood vessels of your extremities. While this can sometimes be benign, persistent acrocyanosis in adults often indicates underlying cardiovascular dysfunction requiring medical evaluation. Research indicates that acrocyanosis can result from several serious heart conditions. Reduced cardiac output from heart failure can cause the body to prioritize blood flow to vital organs, reducing circulation to the extremities and causing the characteristic blue discoloration. As we've explored these 12 cardiovascular warning signs, you've discovered how your skin serves as a remarkable window into your heart's health. From the subtle diagonal crease on your earlobe to the dramatic appearance of painful nodules on your fingertips, your body constantly communicates about your cardiovascular system through skin changes. Remember that these signs are warning signals, not diagnoses. While some, like Osler's nodes and Janeway lesions, demand immediate emergency medical attention, others warrant prompt but non-emergency evaluation by your healthcare provider. The key is learning to recognize these signs and taking them seriously. What makes this information truly powerful is the opportunity it provides for early intervention. Heart disease often develops silently over years but many warning signs appear on your skin long before you experience chest pain or shortness of breath. By paying attention to these changes, you might catch cardiovascular problems when they can still be effectively treated. If you've recognized any of these warning signs, don't panic, but don't ignore them either. Schedule an appointment with your healthcare provider. Early detection and treatment can make the difference between a full, healthy life and serious complications. If this video was helpful in teaching you these important warning signs, kindly type helpful in the comments. That motivates us to produce more content like this that could genuinely save lives. Please hit the like button if you found this information valuable. Share this video with friends and family members who might benefit from learning these warning signs and subscribe to our channel for more health content that could make a real difference in your life. Thank you for taking the time to learn about these critical cardiovascular warning signs. And remember, your health is your most valuable asset.